Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. This week I'll be showing you a quick technique that you can use to apply rivets in 3D Studio Max to a non-uniform surface. Now if you think back a few weeks ago, I created a Monday movie where I showed you how to place rivets onto objects. We covered a lot of techniques during that movie, but one thing we didn't talk about was extremely complex surfaces. If you have something even like letters, you can use the spacing tool in 3D Studio Max to have those rivets follow the path. But what if your object is non-standard like this one, where the convexity changes over the length of the object? Well, I'll show you how to project a path onto this surface, re-extract the projected spline, and use that as a spacing path to follow. Let's have a look. I'm going to select my base object, and in one of my orthogonal viewports, I've chosen left, I'm going to pick a spline that I want to project. So let's try uh, a rectangle. I'm going to put a, a rectangle of rivets onto this shape. I'm just going to put that right here. Give myself a little bit of corner radius to make it look cool. That works. Okay. And I'm going to go back out to my perspective viewport. So, what I'm going to do is select my base surface, and I'm going to create a copy of it. So I'm going to go Edit, Clone, Copy, OK. Then, with the copy selected, I'm going to go to my Create panel, click on Geometry, Compound Objects, and Shape Merge. You're probably already familiar with this. I'm going to click on Pick Shape, and I'm going to select that that shape I just created. And you'll notice that it now creates the shape projected onto the surface. And you can imagine what we're going to do next. We now need to extract that shape again. So I'm going to go back to my modify panel and I'm going to apply an edit poly modifier. Now one thing about shape merge is that when you select the edge sub object selection it won't give you the new edges that you created. But if you go to the vertex sub-object selection and hold control, shift, click on edge, you'll actually get the edge selection that you created. It's a neat trick. Once you have the edges selected, you just need to scroll down and attach them as a shape. Make sure to select linear because you're going to have a lot of vertices in there. So I'll click OK. And now I can delete my copy. Then that brings us back to the original clean mesh structure and the projected spline. And now all I have to do is use my spacing tool. I've got my rivet here, tools, align, spacing tool, and then I pick that new path. And I get all the rivets I want that follow the shape of that object. And there you have it. That's how you can create very simple rivets to follow a path after it's been projected onto a surface in 3D Studio Max. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website www.mrbluesummers.com.